Alrighty, time to finish Alone in the Dark Inferno. I won't do it in this session. I won't. So let's continue. And we've already seen the recap, so let's fucking go. And we have to do this again, so what was the point of doing that? And it's really easy if you just turn it on and off. Now, okay. Use that to move the cable out of the water. And that is too far from You have to wait through this cutscene every time. 
Now there are plenty of ways to do that, but this is the easiest fucking way. So pay close attention. I've already made a preset, but in case you missed it, you combine that with tape. You create a preset. Then throw it against the wall or against the floor and it doesn't roll. Now be careful because when you're not because it builds up around where there's around where there's no life, so you don't want to screw yourself over. See? Easy as cake. Shoot that nest, and now the, there are no more spiders. Kill this fucker. And get another bottle of healing spray. Get some more glow sticks. There are probably some glow sticks on the shelf. Okay, let's get Okay Now what will we do first? First we drag this Electrical able cable out of the water like so now we can access that valve turning the fire off over there now this is where the glow sticks come in Get to turn off the flashlight for this, so so you know when the thing when the when the black shit is scattering from the glow stick, 
Or, or from your flashlight, so you know how to see it. things stink big time, huh? Okay, I've got to find my partners. The park is right up there. Good luck. You know what? Screw it. Time. Still a fucking message to read. And I don't give a shit. You know, you don't need to read the messages. The messages really don't. Except, well, some of them do, actually. That's a flare. Flares are very useful. Watch that. Uh, actually, they're not very useful now, so it's best. Actually, pick the glow stick back up. And I know I should have picked up that player, but I'm not gonna pick it up. It's only good for if you use a glass bottle. Throw it at an enemy. 
once it hits the enemy, it, like, puts, like, all, all this liquid on it and, and burning liquid on it and all oh, Oh, would you look at that. Did you get out of the fucking vehicle? I get to this next part, I'll... You know what? Actually, you have to get to that part first. You get a cutscene here too. You're burning my puppets like a child playing with ants. But burn this, and it'll be like burning your own soul. Now, if getting hurt is what you want, I can help. Spectral vision before that stuff goes into you. What's spectral vision? You close your eyes and you can see the evil roots and the cracks on the enemies. And if you get enough of it, you can see it shortly after with your eyes open. Now the knife is very useful. But that I'll have to wait till next episode if I make this jump, which I probably won't. Now that's okay, because as long as you get to the other side, it triggers this cutscene. Miss me. I told you you'd find us. Full name, please. Edward Carnby. Memory coming And that's back. a glitch. Yeah, something like that. Okay, have a seat and let me take a look while it searches. Christ. You can thank the lady. It's high time to fix this. Bad news is we ran out of painkillers an hour ago. <laughs> Grit your teeth. Your friend told me about your amnesia. Post-traumatic stress can do that. Hardly surprising. I don't think you'll be the only one trying to forget tonight. I mean, the ground opens up and cuts us off from the rest of the city. Jesus. And there you go. Not my best work, but it'll last the night. Here we go. Huh. 
What do you got? I have to pull the wrong file. Let me see. Professor Edward Carnby. Researcher. Paranormal investigator. Huh? Solved case of Jeremy Harwood's suicide at Tercito's Manor in 1924. Disappeared under strange circumstances in 1938. What the fuck? Never mind. Here. Notable scars and marks. Large scar on the left side of the face. Never thought I could finish up an episode that quickly, but see you later. <laughs>